Hello, welcome and thank you for clicking on my video. You may know, you may not. I'm Ada, I'm an artist and I film little bits of my life. What is up? I hope we're well. We're fully into summer now. It's very warm, a little bit unbearable sometimes, but I'll take it over the rain for now. So recently I got back an old friend. This camera was a gift from my dad back when I was a Tumblr, deviant art girl, really into photography. A wheel. Anyway, once I was bored of that phase, I sold this to my best friend who wanted it at the time. She had it for a, a while, like seven years or so, and I've recently been asking her if she still uses it. She doesn't, so it's mine again. We've been reunited. This camera is old. It's a Canon 1100D. Came out in like 2011. I initially wanted it back so I could get some like more interesting shots for the vids or like I could film two things at once. The video quality isn't great and it goes up to 720p which was top notch in 2011 by the way. I do kind of like the look it gives because it's quite shaky, it's kind of like an older handheld camera vibe so I'll probably use it for certain things see how it goes. It's still great for taking pictures though and it will come in really handy for like product pics and things like that once I fully know how it functions again. I'm currently taking a class on Skillshare actually, who is our sponsor today. Thank you Skillshare, the online learning community where you can go to take classes on a bunch of different topics that interest you. But um, I'm taking a class because I used to know this thing inside and out and I've just forgotten everything. So relearning how to use it. The class is Fundamentals of DSLR Photography by Justin Bridges and Photo Essentials. It's a super popular class which I haven't taken before but now I have a reason to and it's been super helpful so far. Justin definitely knows his camera inside and out. He covers the main elements and how they work together, understanding which settings you need for certain lighting and distance and he just covers the main things you need to know getting into photography and SLRs. Everything that I need to know. There is a link in my description if you're interested in a one month free trial of Skillshare. I really do recommend it. I have taken classes now on all of my hobbies including photography now and everything that goes into my work. A thousand people who click that link will receive the trial. I hope that some of you check it out. I recommended three classes that I loved and that were really helpful to me in my last video if you're after some suggestions but you can just go on there and type in anything and they've got something for everyone. But anyway thank you so much to the Skillshare for sponsoring another video and that was a lot of talking about cameras especially an 11 year old one. Now I'm going to rehome some new plants because I picked up some cute pots at the garden centre the other day which need plants in them and I've got a few plants that are looking a bit sad anyway so let's do that. This cactus is mental, it's getting so tall. It was the only one that didn't have spikes that would sit around the edge, so he's the only one that can go in there.
yes, another day. I'm holding Hotfoot, that is his name. I have been working a bit this morning and I took a bath. And I got ready, heading to the pub this evening with some friends for an open mic night. Not me, not a singer, not a musician, but some friends are. That's pretty much the only thing to do in the summer in the UK is go to the pub. <laughs> Actually last weekend my local pub put on like a mini festival thing. They had like marquees and some food trucks, an outside bar, a campsite and lots of bands and a really good Queen tribute which I very much enjoyed. <laughs> I was pretty sure it was Freddie reincarnated. Um, but now it's half two and I've got a while before I need to go out. I need to go out until like six, seven. So I'm gonna do some more work. I need to send some emails and I need to prep some files to send over and I need to sort out my sponsorship in this video and send that over for review. So, so I think I'm gonna do that. I don't really know why I turned the camera on. Um, just felt like having a little chat. I went for a little walk with my boyfriend like a week ago to Avebury. You'll know it if you live in the UK. It's pretty famous I guess it's the place where the stones are <laughs> it's just up the road from me um so we went for a little walk around there and I took the DSLR just to see what it would be like out and about like I said it's not very stabilized but it was fun I just wanted to mess around and see what it was like so I'll put some clips in here and yeah I'll see you later Sunflowers in your head. Hello, good day. I'm in my usual spot. It is Sunday, 31st of July. Um, it's raining today. So today I need to work on some client work. Ooh, I don't know how much we can show, but I'm currently working with Usborne again, which reminds me, I have not mentioned this anywhere. I don't know why, just things happen and you just lose momentum and like it just was never the right time, I guess. But me and Usborne Publishing uh, worked together before at the end of 2020. I don't know if you followed me then, but I was quite busy at the end of that year. And it's because I was illustrating a children's book, which has never been like on my list of goals. It hasn't, it wasn't like a dream of mine or anything, but 
they reached out and asked if I would be interested in working on a colouring book and I thought that sounded fun so I said yes but it is out now because you know time flies and this is it this book is called Colour Yourself Calm so this is not my book I just illustrated it oh it matches me kind of um, so the author, the story, like what's going on was created by Alice James the designs, the actual colouring in part, were designed by Tilly Kitching and I just illustrated her ideas in my line art basically. So the ideas are not mine, the designs are just stylized by me but they are not my designs. But this was just so much fun to work on and I had an absolute blast and it's so cool to see it all like out. I'll have a little flip through so that you can see some of the pages. But yeah, this is all illustrated by me except for the little doodle guy and like the pattern pages like this I didn't do. This is my favourite spread. That one was just so much fun to do. But yeah, there's that. This is part of their Unworry book series. So it's for older children, like eight or so-ish. And it's all about like chilling out, winding down calm and some of the spreads have little QR codes which give you pleasant relaxing music to listen to while you colour and I just thought it was a really swell idea so basically I'm currently working with them again just doing a couple spreads for a couple different books but I'm currently working on the cover of one of the new books I'm not illustrating the full cover just some aspects and today I'm going to be doing all of the little pencil and pen colouring in bits on paper so that we can scan it in and it will look realistic. So what I just printed out was the line work that I've already done on my iPad for the cover and now I attached it to some regular just printer paper, just smooth texture. I've got my light box here and we're just gonna go in and colour in the areas and hopefully when I scan it, it will fit nice and look good. But I might do a few different versions because I'm not sure if it will work. And I'm not sure how much I can share but I'll film a little bit of it and if you can't really see because I don't want to show the design of the new cover but it's I'm just doing this, I'm just colouring in traditionally the digital line works so it won't look much different from this so let's see how that goes Later, I've done the full colouring spread page, scan that in and I'm just putting it in place now and tweaking the exposure and the colours slightly and it looks good. It looks good so far, I'm proud of myself. <laughs> it's literally not hard, I've done stuff like this before, just never like for someone else, so I want to make sure that it's good. As I said, I can't really share this with you, but I just wanted to update you and let you know that I didn't fail. <laughs> A couple days later now, I had some feedback on that cover work that I was doing and they want some little tweaks. Today I'm working on that. I am taking a different approach this time. Last time I did it all on one piece of paper. It just got a bit messy when it came to editing it in Photoshop. So today I've separated each colour into its own piece. So each colour is its own layer, physical layer, so that when I scan everything in, I can just pop it on top and everything's separated already. And I'm just working on the last layer currently, which is a pencil layer, so that won't take very long. And then we can scan it all in, and hopefully, it will look all good and be what they are after.
hair a few times since, but we're orange. I need to wash it again, actually, it's kind of greasy, sorry. I also finally picked up my new glasses. I've been wearing the same pair for like eight years now, and I've been really excited to get some new ones, so finally. I've got these ones, like all plastic, comfy, just like my other ones, because I'm used to that. And then I also got these ones. These are much lighter, they're metal, they've got like the little nose bits. And I just wanted like two different vibes um, for whatever I'm feeling. I like these ones, I've wanted like some normal everyday ones for ages now, so I'm very happy. And I don't know if you'll ever see my old glasses again. <laughs> but anyway, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, hopefully I'll see you again soon, and don't forget to check out Skillshare, I'll see you later.